Welcome back guys, KKC Productions here, and today we have a review of a special router that has Wi-Fi 6. Here is the box. It is the AX3 Pro from Huawei. It's one nice looking router that is feature filled and packed with tons of stuff that is going to make it awesome. So this router you can get from Banggood for just around $70 depending on some of the discounts you can receive or time that you buy it. Um, of course I will have some links down in the description that you can use to get discounts for downloading the app and also a direct link um, for you to buy this router as well. Um, it is from China so it will take a minute to get that shipped and also since COVID is still here um, which we weren't all planning for still it will take a minute to arrive but once you're able to get this router or see if you want to purchase this router, it is awesome. Um, I've been able to run some tests, which we'll go over further in this video and also showing the setup as well. Um, it is in Chinese, so I'll show you a way to make sure you can get that in English and get the translation on that so you can go ahead and set this up. So let's go over just a few features that it has. And then we'll go into those other further details as well. Looking into this router with Wi-Fi 6, which is a huge leap going forward in speed. So on the back, we have a one WAN port that supports 10, 100, and 1,000 megabits per second on that Ethernet port. And also there are three other LAN connections that you can use for devices. Um, that may not be enough for some people, but you can always add a secondary switch or even put your router into bridge mode and use that as like a further access point in your house. So that is also an awesome feature you can do as well. Um, so you can download an application for this. There is also some other features that this router supports with NFC to go ahead and not have to share your username and password um, to get into your router. So you can just tap that onto the router and that'll give them uh, capabilities to use your internet connection with ease um, or you can set up guest mode as well. And this also supports going through an additional wall. Um, I was able to run some tests and the connectivity on this router is so much better than some other previous generations of routers without Wi-Fi 6. So now that we've looked into some of that stuff, let's go ahead and check up with the setup and also some speed as well. Okay guys, so we're gonna go over exactly what was going on with the initial setup. Um, so this router, the AX3 Pro is in Chinese. So for me, having to figure out how to work through the interface and stuff, um, it takes a little work. Um, so I tried downloading the app they recommend that you can see actually here on the screen. Um, you can download it. Um, I also tried changing the language to, not language, but the actual location to China, and there were some issues. Um, it still can't find the device. You try to add it manually. Um, still had an issue where it, just said connect to the router which I was um, and then once that was done there was no options to do anything um, so I found a website and also I, on the box it actually shows works with Huawei, the Huawei high link application so I did download it I'm gonna have it showing up on the screen here um, I was able to add it into there it's not the same as the actual app they recommend here um, other than that, um, that one actually you can do some stuff to the router using just that application. So that that is good. Um, but usually once this stuff's set up anyway, you're never going to really go in there unless you want to see specifically what's going on. Um, but I want to show you exactly if you do end up turning this router on um, and having an issue setting up like I did, it's easier just to go on to the web interface. Um, once I got on the web interface, I realized there isn't any options here to basically translate the page. If you use your cell phone and actually use the Chrome browser and enter in the IP address, which I did change, default was um, .3.1. I did change it to 0 .1. Um, If you use your phone, you can actually click the settings there and it will show you how to translate it. Um, but the shortcut to get it to work on Chrome was to right click on some of the Chinese languages and there is a translate to English and bam. Um, took a minute to figure that out because there was no settings anywhere. 
Um, but once you're in here, you can actually see everything looks pretty good. Um, I'd rather use the online interface anyway. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and log into the router here. Um, once we're in, it's nice that everything I can actually see now um, in English, which is awesome. So I did end up setting the router up, changed the IP address to the one I wanted. And my old router, which was my old D-Link, I ended up putting that in bridge mode so I can still use that router. Basically, it copies the config um, from this main router here. And then it basically makes a, another access point in my house with that router. Um, so let's go through some of the interface here. You can restart it here. And you can, of course, you can click on my network. Basically, it opens up to the other pages here. Um, terminal. So basically, this will show you what devices are connected. Um, my device, because I actually have two Ethernet ports on my desktop. So that is actually plugged into my D-Link still. Um, but the speeds are actually the same as if you were connected to the original router here. Um, everything else is on here. You can manage this stuff. It's awesome. You can actually limit the network speed on here. Um, pretty straightforward. And if we go back to the home, you can click my router, and it brings you to all the information. So we'll just go step by step. Um, I want to go online. It says you're connected. Um, if there's issues, you can reconnect. For internet access, I chose for DHCP. I do not have um, a PPOE account, which some AT&T accounts have, where you have to actually log in with the username and password. Uh, mine just takes DHCP, grabs that um, for me. You can leave all the other settings um, itself, and I did end up doing a static DNS, and the 8.8.8.8 .8 and the alternate here is Google's DNS, which they're, they're really quick, and I never have any issues with it. So if you set this here, you won't have to change those settings on your, like your cell phone or um, PlayStation or computer yourself. So this should automatically set that for you. Um, so if you go under Wi-Fi, this is uh, where we start getting into the interesting things. Um, you can do the 5G preferred, and you can see it basically explains what it's doing. It will automatically switch between the two. As 5G, it's the fastest you can get. You pretty much get as the top of the line. Um, but the problem is, is the signal's not really as strong as you would say the 2.4. 2.4 goes a lot further. Um, so if you leave that preferred, that's totally up to you. If you don't, you can actually go ahead and have it to where you can see both of them. As I would usually do, a, let's say, AX3 Pro 5G and then AX3 Pro 2.4. So that's totally up to you. I'm going to leave it um, as the way it is. I set my password. You can do this if you have any issues where you can't find the router um, on some of the older devices. I have not had that issue yet. Um, if there is any issues, I will. I can end up changing that, so that's fine. And the rest of the settings, you can go ahead and leave. Um, so terminal management, we were just here. The same thing. Shows you which one's yours. Um, but more features is where you can get into some of the settings on this router. Um, you can go to upgrade management. You can download the latest updates. I totally recommend doing that for security purposes. Um, network settings is where you can change the address, like I did. Um, and then, of course, you can allocate a range um, for IP addresses. Um, so you can set this to go. It will automatically assign an address from 2 to 254, which is a standard um, for routers. And, of course, a day lease, which it will, should auto-renew um, for devices after that day. Um, private network, if you understand how to use that, you can, of course, edit that. Uh, I'm not sure. I haven't tried this yet. Um, I guess we could probably research more on that to see what it does, but I'll just leave it for now. PUNP, I'll enable. It's good for, as it says here, plug and play features, and also um, for using those protocols as well for videos and downloading. Um, this is also different. I was wondering, I'm like, what is this kind of setting here? Um, but it's supposed to lead, it's an intelligent Wi Fi <laughs> roaming network, so. I guess we'll see exactly what this ends up doing down the road. Um, IPv6, this is actually, you can turn it on, but it's in a beta mode. Um, so that's up to you. I'm going to leave it off for now. Um, that's totally fine.
Here's more of your advanced settings, so you can adjust the radio. Um, this will adapt to the best um, channel for you on its own. Um, and you can always use the app to adjust those if to make the signal a little bit better. Um, 5G, of course, has more, a lot more channels. Um, access control, you can blacklist um, certain equipment. Um, guest Wi-Fi, you can turn that on for guest. Um, here we go, is a relay. Um, you can connect another router, so you basically can have like a mesh. So this router does support meshing and timing so you can have this basically shut off at a certain time so no one can use your internet um, we have the ddns security settings firewall keep that enabled um, you have nat service dmc you can enable this if you want to allow certain things through your network um, without the security and of course here i ended up turning this on this is a pretty neat feature it actually um, manages where you're going and if there's any attacks and tr like Trojan horses, that will automatically block that for you. That's awesome feature through the router. Um, the NFC, this is great. So if you have someone comes to your house, they can set your phone right here, right on top of the router with NFC, and it will automatically register the um, username and password. You don't even have to touch it or give them your password. Uh, login password. This will be the password to get into the router. Um, which it will ask you to ch end up changing that when you go ahead and set the router up. Time, I changed this to mine. This was actually, I think, Chinese over in China. Um, you can also set the ports, so you can fix these ports and use different ones for different features. And let's see what else we have. Backup and restore. You can back up your whole config just in case something happens to this. You can re-upload that. Diagnose. If there's any issues, you can run a diagnostic on it. And here is developer options. Um, so if you're able to edit some of the router files, you can upload here. I'll leave that alone. Um, and then we have accessibility and the improvement plan. So other than that, um, it's pretty straightforward. You still have a lot of options to play around with on this router. Um, but I wanted to go through this so you can understand exactly what it looks like and also how to get the translate <laughs> to work so you're not looking at a Chinese menu. Um, depending on which version you get, if you get the one from China, that one, I like this, doesn't support the different language. But if you get the global version, I think the new firmware update allows you to basically change which one or which language you're using. So that's the interface there. And we'll go ahead and check out some speed stuff and see what we're doing here. So I'm going to open up my speed test right here. It's just the app version on my computer. I like to run it all the time. Change this to the right one. I have Spectrum. Typically, I have a 200 uh, megabit connection. And typical upload speeds for me are right around 11 to 12. Um, so this is a hardwired connection. So we'll test this and then test the Wi-Fi 6 portion using wireless on my um, Note 20 Ultra, which that should be similar to a hardwired connection. So we'll run this. 7 milliseconds to 8, that's not bad. And you can see we're getting way above advertised speed. Well, not way above, but higher than the 200. So it's about 230, it's about 30 over. And here our upload, hitting just a ride around 11. So that's about right for, for here. Awesome. Um, I'm sure if there was gigabit in my area, we'd probably hit you know 980 easily. So after checking everything out and checking the setup and looking at some cool pictures of this awesome looking router, um, we have been able to test this for a few days now. And I will say that the coverage in our house is awesome. Um, it works so much better than the other routers that I've used. And also, I want to say that um, everything is loading very, very quick on this router compared to my old one. Um, so I'm very impressed. Um, I hope you guys very enjoyed this video. And if you guys want to get it, we'll have the links down in the description for you. And if there's anything else you need or have any questions on it, just let me know and I will answer them for you. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video.